Welcome to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and I know a lot of people want to live life healthier. Uh, they want to exercise. They want to spend time spiritually with Jesus, but they also want to eat healthier. And I'm really excited uh, today that we're going to be able to provide some hope in some of those different areas today. Joining me is a friend of mine and actually a classmate of mine, Denise Walsh, and she is the owner of Gluten-Free Miracles, or rebranding as Miracles Bakery here in Lexington. And uh, Denise, you guys just provide a lot of wonderful uh, food. I know a lot of people have food challenges. Share a little bit about what your business is. Greg, we provide a service for the community for people who do have to eat gluten-free um, because a crumb could make somebody sick if they eat somewhere else. And we provide wonderful tasty treats and memories for people who can't get it anywhere else. We also provide uh, vegan options for people who maybe have to be egg-free or dairy-free. And we also do paleo and keto for people living those lifestyles. So we try to really touch base on a lot of different things. Everything is gluten-free. We also are non-GMO and we strive to be organic. So we really are rebranding and being known as the Healthy Bakery and Cafe, helping people to enjoy life through food, but in a nutritious way. Well, one of the things that uh, I know my mom is a very frequent customer and something you'll think, well, I couldn't get anything that I would like there because that sounds too healthy. But uh, uh, one of her favorites is the chicken parmesan. Yes. So <laughs> so there are things there. It's not just like you have a chicken parmesan sandwich and your mom has discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my list. Trust me. I want to get yeah, there and try that try too. It. It's pretty yummy. But delicious desserts. Um, you know, you have lunch. Um, but it's just a real blessing, people. But like a lot of things in life, God turns what is a frustrating situation in our mm -hmm. life, and you're just like, you know, God, where are you working? What do I do? You feel overwhelmed. Share about how your business got started. Well, um, I have celiac disease, and so does my son. But we didn't, you know, it took forever to get the right diagnosis. Um, I just gave up gluten and felt better. So I was like, oh, okay, as an adult. But it took years later when my son Connor was um, almost dead. He was seven and a half, and he was just so sick. And so we finally got the right diagnosis, and we had to start giving up gluten. And there was just nothing really available he would eat. And he was so unhealthy. And so I just pulled out my grandma's old recipes and reformulated them and just stayed with it until they started turning out. Because for a long time, it was like I was just funneling money into the trash. And uh, with due diligence and perseverance, it, it worked out, you know. And uh, then he started loving everything and all of his friends did. And when he got healthy and we decided, hey, let's bless the community and do the same for them. And how long have you been open now? We've been open a little over eight years. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. We've been very embraced. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. And yeah. They, uh, when I saw the article in the Lexington Herald Leader when you opened and we graduated from high school together at Tate's Creek, and I thought, I got to go check this place out because that sounds like uh, the niece I graduated with. And it's just been cool to see how God's worked through that. And mm -hmm. I know, obviously, you know, it's a business, and, right. you know, you are trying to obviously uh, do things with excellence and make a profit as you have to all things all businesses do but um it's so much more to you than just that ministry uh, i know you've tried to help employ uh, people that maybe you know it's not as easy for them to get a job so yes. share a little bit about that aspect of how you provide hope right well we are a faith-driven company i tell everybody god is my business partner he takes the reins and i try to keep up um, that being said, we pray for a lot of people. We even have a prayer wall in the office. And then we do hire high-functioning people with disabilities. Uh, we've done that since day one. And it just seemed like the right thing to do in a way to give back in the community. And uh, we work with great organizations like OWL, um, which is Occupational Work Learning and Independence Place and Jubilee Jobs. Um, we also do second chance opportunities as well because I don't know about you, but I've made my mistakes. So I figure everybody deserves an opportunity for redemption. And um, we just keep God in the center of it all. And so far it works out pretty good, you know, but people just need a place to feel safe. 
Well, they most certainly do, and I know it's got a great atmosphere. I'm a frequent customer by myself and love it. Uh, you're like, where is this place? It's over off Nicholasville Road behind Jeff's Car Wash on 145 Burt Road. Uh, what, what are your hours? Our hours are 9 to 3, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. So if you're looking for a great place to meet somebody, coffee, yeah. great Food. muffins, pastries, lunch, obviously. And uh, you can get stuff in the afternoon and take home for dinner, right? Yes. We do offer like par-baked pizzas and all kinds of stuff like that. Our fried chicken. We've become the chicken place. We sell so much fried chicken strips. It's ridiculous. We do hand make everything in the bakery fresh. So, of course, if you have to be gluten-free... You can't find it anywhere else, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing that's been cool for me to watch, God bless your business, because I know yes. that's the desire of your heart, that uh, you actually also uh, have developed a lot of wholesale side of it. Talk about that. Um, we are in wholesale. We do work with Whole Foods Market. We um, are in Lexington and Louisville now. We were in Ohio, but we actually had to just cut that cord because we just don't have enough staff to keep up with the demand. It's rather unfortunate. We've actually been approved to go into up to 63 stores in the whole region. Um, and Kroger also wants us, but we just can't supply it at this stage right now. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. okay. I know yeah. that a lot of places are struggling with staffing. Yeah. And unfortunately, you're one of those. Uh, just talk about as you've been walking through this process uh, uh, with trying to find teammates and staff. And uh, mm -hmm. I know it's a wonderful work environment because I've been there all you know, so many times over the past eight years. Just share a little bit about that process of going through the staffing challenge. Absolutely. So staffing is really hard for every company. I mean, I don't think you can go <laughs> anywhere right now and not see a now hiring sign. It's crazy. But the smaller businesses, we can't provide uh, what the bigger corporations can provide as far as benefits and even pay. We do our best. And I am, I mean, I'm way more than I ever thought I would be paying. And I realize that that's not even the main motivator, you know. Um, it's it's a difficult season. I have faith to get through it, but it is a really hard time. We had to close recently uh, f because the manager needed a vacation, and we just didn't have enough staff without her. And so I sent her on vacation, and I closed my doors because we have to take care of each other. You know, and if we can't do it and be open, we closed and the rest of us just, which was only two people, <laughs> worked and stocked up the freezers. And with We sell things frozen to Whole Foods, so we worked a lot on things like that. But uh, we are very glad to have the manager back. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. What, uh, what do you see as some of the challenges with staffing right now? I've prayed really hard about it. And... Um, I've had a lot of interviews where um, people have expressed to me that, um, you know, I, I want to say this delicately, that they have, um, they're getting disability and they've been diagnosed with general anxiety disorder. And I don't know a ton about that, so I'm not going to presume, you know, to, to guide people in that. But what the Lord had shown me was that um, some do have it but not three-fourths of our world, and that's what it's looking like. And that since COVID hit, our government in this country have made it really easy to, to get disability. And so they'll come in and they'll work a few hours, but that's all they want to work because they want to get their disability. And um, it's just really a hard season because of that. It's also a hard season because... Um, there's a, still a whole lot of the mentality of people, this generation that has graduated college and they worked so hard for a degree, but then they can't get a job with their degree right away, making $100,000 a year. So they're like, well, I'll just stay home until I do. And I've met so many of them. And um, I know how frustrating that must be for them. But at the same time, a job's a job, you know? And um, then the other thing I saw on a, a news program where they interviewed people in California and New York that were like homeless, young people, like 25 years old and homeless, and they had college degrees. And the reporters asking them, why are you homeless? And they're like, well, I shouldn't have to work if I don't want to. And I've decided I don't want to work. 
and they're just choosing some of them. I'm not saying all homeless people, obviously. So we have this whole cultural thing happening, and I just believe it's the enemy and, and that chaos is reigning and confusing people so much. And um, it's, it's just really crippling our country and our world because we have to have people work. I mean, it's ironic to me how many people come in and don't even realize there is a staffing crisis. I think it's a staffing famine, and um, it's, it's just a really difficult time to be a business owner because of that. But um, I'm trusting the Lord that he'll pull us all through. Well, amen for that. If somebody's listening, like, you know what, I, man, I, I'd like to be a part of this. I like the environment that I hear and a faith-based environment and uh, a prayer wall and the office that we pray for people. What's the best way for people to try to apply for a position there at Miracles Bakery? Well, they can email us at denise at glutenfreemiracles.com, but I really prefer, and so does Megan, the manager, that people just come in and fill out an application and talk with us. We'll interview them right then. And uh, I'm working a lot in the bakery, and so most of the time you can get an interview with both of us at the same time. And, um, I mean, we, we're very prayerful about the people we hire because we want to make sure it's a good fit in every avenue, that you're comfortable, we're comfortable. And I don't just hire Christians because God has shared with me that I might be how they meet Jesus. You know, I'm the light. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you know someone that that would – is looking for a great job they need to be done by like three or four o'clock and they're off on sunday and monday or whatever um hey send them in because i love to be the light of christ to other people and i know a lot of companies you know that i've heard about in the past have, oh i only want to hire christians but we have to be around people who aren't christians so they see jesus in us and they learn about jesus through us and so for me, that's my heart's desire. But yeah. I'll hire you if you're a Christian as well. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So in other words, you know, wherever you're at in your spiritual journey, uh, yes. whether you're a mature follower of Jesus or you're still just trying to uh, check out this uh, Jesus, uh, go check them out. They're conveniently located on Nicholasville Road. Jeff's Car Wash, a lot of people know that. Burt Road, B-U-R-T Road. Sarah, you can go to the website, miraclesbakery.com. And uh, the cool thing is uh, people can, you know, they don't they can obviously show up like I do and buy stuff, or uh, they can place an order online. Is that correct? Well, we uh, disabled our online functions for right now because we don't want orders to be placed we can't fill, you know. Sure. And so we do request that you just call and place an order. To call. Because so we call. have also had ingredient shortages as well. So, you know, we want to make yeah. sure we can accommodate you. Well, I want to encourage those of you listening, uh, you know, Obviously, you hear this, and uh, if you're a business owner, you're like, yeah, I can feel her pain in those areas. So uh, let's support our uh, locally owned faith-based business owners and be intentional about that. Uh, know that, uh, you know, the Bible says those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. So, Denise, appreciate your encouragement with Hope is Here Ministry. Uh, man, we're praying for gluten-free miracles, and uh, just thank you for being a light in the darkness here in Central Kentucky. We appreciate you. Well, thank you, Greg. I appreciate that you're a light in the darkness, too. Well, I appreciate it so much. Uh, it's just been a real blessing to me in this ministry. Hope is here, her and her husband, Scott. And uh, But we hope that you will uh, go, go grab one of those chicken parmesan sandwiches, or Meg and I both, our mouths watered at the chicken tender. So uh, we they may be out by the time you get there after we get through the line. But uh, go check out Gluten-Free Miracles on 145 Burt Road, a place where you can find hope and health. For Denise Walsh, I'm Greg Horn, and this is Hope is Here.